Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Myas is here. And on this video, we're going to talk about integration involving inverse trig functions. So these uh, often might look a little tricky, but you only really have to remember two. So I know a lot of calculus teachers and a lot of calculus classes, they make you learn like, like six of these things when you really only need two. Um, because anything can be really put in these forms and uh, at least for the AP exam, I'm going to stress that at least for the AP exam, um, knowing these two can really help you solve some of these issues. So let's take a look at involving um, integration involving some inverse trig functions and remember there is some memorizing. So let's take a look. All right, so here we go. Um, I want to remind you of the derivatives. So here are the derivatives of arc sine. We're going to look at arc sine today and arc tangent. So the derivative of arc sine um, in, the, in the chain rule formula would be u prime over square root of 1 minus u squared. We did that a little, a few, a little while ago. Arc tangent, u prime over 1 plus u squared. So remember, for integration, we're going backwards, all right? So really what we need to do is we need to realize what form we have in our integrand so then that way we know which form of the arc of the uh, inner the inverse trig function we're looking for all right all right okay so we can uh use these rules here now we can extend that rule into a more general one and that's really what we're going to see on the ap exam is the generalized rule here's what's going to happen instead of the one here that we see we're going to have a, nu a number a i don't know a right <laughs> what's up a uh it could be b I don't, it could just be a a number 5 25 it'd be nice if it was an easy square root like um an easy perfect square like 9 or or um you know or 1 fourth something that we can easily know the square of that so either way we're going to have that for both our arc tangent and our cos our arc sine so for arc sine we're looking at u over a Okay, so whatever we get here as our u, we're going to take that and then divide it by whatever value we get there. For our tangent, our arc tangent, we're going to have to take 1 over a outside of our arc tangent, and then we're going to take whatever's here and divide it by a just like we did with our arc sine. All right, let's take a look at a few examples here, and I'll, see you, I'll show you what we're doing. So why don't us uh, just start off, go ahead and do the the derivative of that. So I'll I'll pause, or you can pause me, and I'll let you try this out. Ready? Okay, did you pause me? Or you just put me on fast forward and I'm gonna do it for you anyway? Okay, so the derivative of this, y prime, is gonna be the derivative of the inside, which is one half, over the square root of one minus x over two squared. All right, so if I simplify that guy out a little bit, it's going to look like this. Y prime equals, uh, I'm going to bring the 2 down. And then this is going to be 1 minus x squared over 4. Okay. And then um, this fourth <clears throat> is a little trickier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out this 4. All right. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change this 2 to the square root of 4. All right. And then that way I could put it inside the square root, which is going to look like this. 1 over square root of 4 minus x squared. Because basically I'm taking that 4 and I'm multiplying it by 1 minus x squared over 4. And I'm distributing it and then I get that. So in this case, if I was doing the antiderivative, my a would be 4 and my uh, u would be x. Okay, there's my u, there's my a. No, my a is not 4. My a is 2. My a is 2. My a is 2 because, remember, 2 squared, 2 squared is 4. <laughs> remember that. Okay. So um, here's the steps what you really want to do for these. You want to first determine whether it's arc sine form or arc tan form. Once you figure that one out, then you could go on to do the problem and then figure out what a and u are going to be. Got it? What are you going to be? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be a teacher because that's what I am. All right. What are you going to be? How are you doing? Okay. So, A. <laughs> so, first we got to decide which. I, you know, I crack myself up. You don't have to laugh. And I don't know if you're laughing on the other side. You know, emoji laugh, emoji laugh. I don't know. I'm laughing. I'm laughing inside on this side, inside your screen. Okay. So, first you got to decide what this is. 
look at if it has a square root um, and it's in that form it's going to be arc sine all right so this is going to be arc sine form so I'm just going to write arc sine form okay arc sine form just to kind of know that I'm doing that and then I'm going to label this uh, my a is going to be 2 and my u is going to be x so then this integral is going to or the antiderivative of this is going to be arc sine of u over a plus c all right not too bad let's take a look at another one change my thing here okay so what form is this one in well this one is in arctan form so we're going to write arctan form just to kind of know that that's what we're doing um this remember this is the part that goes squared that's with u so u in this case is 2x right because 2x squared 2x all squared is going to give me 4x squared and then a a is 5 all right okay so now here's the tricky thing um since remember over here let's go back up here okay we need u prime in here this is a um this is a uh, chain rule right this is a reverse chain rule reverse chain rule so we need to deal with that reverse chain rule so we got to take u prime and that's going to give me two so i need a two in here so i'm going to put a two up here and a one half right here now i've got my hook there's my hook so we do my reverse chain rule so what i'm going to have i'm going to have one half um, one half comes from here and then I've got to multiply that by the antiderivative now the antiderivative is going to be 1 over a arc tan Whoa! what was that about one note's going crazy on me arc tan of u which is 2x over a plus c All right, so you could just go and leave it like that. If you really wanted, you could do one half times one fifth, which is one tenth. All right, so that was number two. Let me see, do I have any more on that page? Nope, let's try another one. Okay, so I've got a few more examples here. Um, and you know what I might do? Um, I might do three and four, and then I'll do five, six, and seven on another video. All right, to make just to make these videos a little shorter. So let's do three here. So which which one is this one? We've got to identify it. It says arctan form. Arctan form. Okay, now identify what our a and our x is going to be. So this is our a. Our a here is going to be square root 3. It's basically the square root of whatever that is. And our u is going to be 2x. So we need u prime, which is 2. I already have an 8 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 4 out and leave 2 in. So then I have my hook. Okay, so because 4 times 2 is 8. All right, so what do I get for my... I'm going to have 4 times 1 over A arctan of U over A plus C. That's it. All right. Okay, so they're not too bad, guys. You just got to identify and do some chain rule stuff. Let's take a look at this one. Now, if I did, if I did, um, now if I have an x in the top and an x squared here, then it's not inverse. It's not an inverse trig, okay? Not an inverse trig if I have an x in the numerator. Really what's going on is u is 3 plus 4x squared and u prime is going to be 8x already there that means i already have my hook okay so since i already have my hook i'm really looking at a 1 over u form which is an ln so the antiderivative of this is is going to be um, ln of absolute value of 3 plus 4x squared plus c that's it all right, that one's a little easier if you see it. But again, the X on the top is a sure tail sign that it's not an inverse trig.
All right, let me just go ahead and crank these out anyway. So five. Uh oh, an in, there's an X on top. So we're not going to do an inverse trig. Since the powers are the same, we're going to do long division. Okay, that's how you can tell that one. All right, so we're going to go long division. 4X squared plus 3. And 8X squared. And that's going to give me 2 minus 6 over 4X squared plus 3 after all is said and done. Okay, so then I'm really going to change this to the integral of 2 dx minus the integral of 6 over 4x squared plus 3. And the integral, the antiderivative is 2x. If u is 4x squared, u prime is going to be 8x. Right? Oh, actually, well, hold on. Um, this, since there's no x here, but there's a, a x squared there, that, that, oh man, I almost missed that, guys. You guys should have been saying something to me. Although I don't know how I'd listen to you. This is arctan form, because there's no x on top and there's an x squared. In this case, u is going to be 2x, u prime is 2, and a is root 3. So we need a 2 here. I'm going to put a 3 out here because 3 times 2 is 6. All right. And then we're going to end up with minus 3 times 1 over a arctan of 2x over root 3 plus c. Man, pretty awesome, huh, guys? All right. This one's going to be fun. So for this one, we're going to do is we're going to split this guy, all right? So we're going to split this into x over square root of 4 minus x squared and, or dx, plus 4 over root 4 minus x squared dx. And then that way we can do this separately. Now notice here, this one has an x, so we're not going to use an inverse trig, but this one does not have an x. So we are going to use an inverse trig here. This one's going to be in arc sine form. All right, and this one here looks like it's going to be a, um, um, looks like this is what we're going to do for that one. I know what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to go x times 4 minus x squared to the negative 1 half. And this one here, I've got, um, I've got an a of 2 and a u of x. So I've got the 4 here that I kind of want in the front. So I'm going to put the 4 in the front because I don't have the um, the derivative of u is u of this one is just 1. So I just need a 1 up there. So I don't need the 4 up there. So I really just need this here. 4 minus x squared. Okay, so now that I got each of these, um, this one right here is going to be a chain rule or a reverse chain rule. Um, u is going to be 4 minus x squared. So u prime is negative 2x. So I need a negative 2 here and a negative one half right there and now I have my hook okay so we're gonna have now let's see what we got now all right so I'm gonna bring it down here so I have enough room so I'm gonna have negative one half and I'm gonna take the antiderivative four minus x squared to the negative one half so I'm gonna add that I'm gonna add one to that's gonna give me positive one half four minus x squared to the positive one half divided by one half just using a power rule there Okay, go ahead and cancel these bad boys out. Plus, then here I'm going to have 4 times uh, arc sine of u over a, so x over 2, plus c. There we go. Boom. All right, and that's our answer. All right, so let's do one more, and then we're out of here, folks. Complete the square. What? Complete the square? Man, we got to go all the way back to like algebra 2 or something like that. All right, so we're going to complete the square. So let's first talk, let's just first complete the square here on the side. So I'm going to have x squared um, plus 4x plus 8. All right, so I'm going to complete the square. So um, to do that, I'm going to need to divide the middle one by 2, which gives me 2, and then square that, which gives me 4. So I need an I need an add a 4 and subtract a 4 here, but 
I'm just going to split this up then. Because if I do that, you know, this part where right here was 8. So then this right here, this is my completed square. Okay, so that completed square is going to look like this. Integral of 1 over x plus 2 squared plus 4. All right, so to complete the square, we take the middle term, divide by 2. Whatever we get, we square it, and that number needs to be at the end to have a perfect square. All right, and then we're going to have x plus whatever this, this one here when we divide it by 2 squared, and then we have the rest plus 4. All right, now this is in arctan form. where this is a, or a actually is 2, and then u is x plus 2. u prime is just going to be 1, so we're good with that. So we're going to end up with 1 half arctan, because 1 half is 1 over a, u, which was x plus 2, over a, which is 2, plus c. And that's our answer. All right, folks. So there you go. That is um, anti-differentiation or integrals involving inverse trig functions. Remember, you really only need the tangent and the sine. Catch you later, guys. Bye.